Hello, Mr. Robinson. I'm Dr. Von Gunten. Is this still a good time for us to chat? Uh, it, it sure is. Uh, uh, I'm kind of stuck here in bed. I got I got a lot of time on my hands. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Like now that things have settled down, that you've been in the hospital, I wanted a chance to chat with you about your care and particularly plans for the future. Mm. It would help me to understand what you know from about your current condition from what the doctors have told mm -hmm. you. Well, you know the the doctors, uh, you know they say things like. Um, you know, your illness is going to significantly shorten your life. And uh, so I think that's like a code for uh, the wheels are going to come off here before too much longer. Not funny, but, yeah, you know, I, I'm, in, I'm in some serious trouble yeah. physically. So. Yeah. And I think it's funny that you notice the kind of jargon that doctors tend to use when they talk about these kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I, I don't want to badmouth them. It's just you know sometimes they're not always as direct as, you know, you wish mm -hmm. they'd be. But so. yeah. is that something you like? Do you like being direct? Uh, well, yeah, I like I like things kind of straight up. Mm -hmm. uh, short of brutal though. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, 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 really. Well, so you said um, you got the message that. They think the wheels are going to come off. Yeah. Tell me more about what that means for you, what you understand. Well, the, uh, you know, my, my illness is terminal. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I, can, I can feel my, I, I mean, I, I know it. Uh, I can feel the change in my body. I mean, I, uh, you know, it's just harder and harder to do things. I have no energy. I have, uh, uh, it's, just, it's just real real difficult i mean to do normal things uh walk get out of bed you know it's 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 all quite difficult at this point well that that jives with what they've told me that mm -hmm. the heart failure is getting worse mm -hmm. and that it's getting worse despite everything they've tried yeah oh yeah oh boy we've we've yeah really yeah we i i i've uh I've funded a lot of physicians' trips to Mallorca. I mean, <laughs> a lot. Of, yeah, I, I, I've seen it. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what are you expecting? Uh, well, you know, I, I, I have to, to get resigned to all this. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I, th I, think, I think I'm doing okay. I, I, I don't have regrets about the life I've had. I, I really don't. Uh, mm -hmm. And it, it's, you know, it's hard to talk about these things to the people around me, you know, because everybody's coaching me and, you know, you know, you know, there's, you know, we'll get some medicine or there'll be some procedure. But this is, things are, things are just winding down. It's, it's inexorable, you know, it's, uh, it's just a, steady downward slide so mm -hmm. I guess thinking about it I kind of even forgot what you asked me mm -hmm. yeah so. well so it, again that jives with what I understand from your doctors uh -huh. that uh, this is getting worse and so I think it makes sense to be thinking about how you want this next part of your life to be including mm -hmm. the time when you die mm -hmm. what are you hoping for what, what would the best be, knowing what you know about your illness. Yeah. Uh, well, I, you know, I, I, no more clinics, no more of this stuff. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I, I want to. Uh, I have a nice home. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's not a palace. I want to go home. I'd like to die at home. Mm -hmm. The big stumbling block for me is uh, my wife, uh, mm -hmm. and. Uh, you know, I, I don't, I don't want to be a bird. She loves me. I love her. Uh, we don't have a perfect relationship, but I don't want to be a burden to her, and I don't uh, want to suck the life out of my children either. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they have young, young kids. Mm -hmm. So I, I just want to go home and uh, uh, ride off into the sunset. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I, and I, I prefer. Uh, you know, I prefer not to unduly suffer. I'm not pr thinking it's going to be a picnic, but, you know, mm -hmm. I'd like to have 
minimal uh, discomfort, I guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's pretty, pretty much what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. And many people with your kind of with heart failure like yours, thinking about how they want their end of their life to be, also think about dying. Uh -huh. Have you ever thought about how you want that to be? Uh, well, yeah, I've, I've, I've thought about it a lot. Not too many people will talk with me about it, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, my buddies are all, you know, oh, hey, let's go, you know. Uh, uh, I, I, uh, I'd like to just go to sleep, I mean, mm -hmm. if I could. I mean, mm -hmm. and I think, I, uh, I mean, it's not like I'm an expert in last things, but I think that's, you know, that's my hope that I go to sleep and don't suffer, you know, I, maybe, maybe uh, you know, maybe it'd be a semi-comatose, I don't know, I don't know, I mean, mm -hmm. so I'm thinking. Well, what I've heard you say is that you know that the heart failure is getting worse, mm -hmm. and that despite the best efforts of your doctors, it's, it's going to keep getting yeah, worse, yeah. and you want to be comfortable, but when the time comes to die, you want that to be as painless and comfortable as possible, and you really want a natural death. I, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I do, I do. So one of the things I think I should do in the medical record today is I should write what we call a do not resuscitate order. Mm -hmm. And that, what that means is if you should die here in the hospital, that we would allow natural death to happen, and we wouldn't use heroic measures to try and reverse death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you want? Uh, yeah, you know, I've thought I, I've thought about that. Uh, I do not. I, I don't want to. I do not want to be a burden. You know, I mm -hmm. pull. I pull my weight. I've. You know, I've carried my share. I don't want to. Uh, uh, you know, I don't want to be in a situation where. You know, I'm gorked. You know, mm -hmm. I mean. Excuse me, that's not, but. That's technical yeah, language. Yeah, I, I yeah. understand what you mean. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 it's not like I've spent a lot of time in nursing homes, but I don't want that. I don't really want that, whether you're just out of it. That's not fair to anybody. It's maybe not even fair to me. Okay. So, yeah. so I'm hearing in addition to uh, putting the DNR order in the chart, we should also talk some about how best to care for you, and particularly I'm also hearing that you don't want uh, life prolonging measures as you get close to dying. That as long as you're comfortable, so you want comfort care when that time comes. Precisely, you know, I mean, yeah, that's it. You know, I mean, I don't wanna be thirsty, I don't wanna be in pain, but no, I don't, I don't want the troops swooping in, you know, sticking stuff in me, I mean, so. Well, I will write the order and to make sure that happens. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. This, this is, uh, I mean, I seem kind of calm, but this has been a difficult conversation. But I, I, I appreciate get you know, like at least getting some of this laid out. Right. Okay. And I want to assure you, we're going to still keep taking the best care of you we know how. Mm -hmm. This is just planning for the future so Good. that we can Good. do this I got the way you want. I got great insurance. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Give me the best. <laughs> all right. We'll do that. Yeah. All right. All right. Thanks yeah. very much. Okay, sure. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to write then a DNR order in the chart so that we don't use heroic measures at the time that you die. Mm -hmm. Can you elaborate a little bit? I mean, you know, maybe be a little more specific mm -hmm. as to what that means? Or? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I think the word resuscitation is refers to a whole series of procedures where we use electric shocks to try and start your heart mm -hmm. or put you on a breathing machine, things that we would do after you died to try and reverse the death and bring you back. Mm -hmm. uh, not, that, it's, that's not real appealing. Um, but does that make sense? Have you seen that on television? Or well, I'm not much of people? a. I'm not much of a TV person, but I get it. I mean, I, 
I, I don't I don't want the troops coming in and you know doing that. What is it, code blue or whatever? Or it's something. one of the words yeah, yeah, for it. Yeah, okay. I mean, I, I you know again I. Um, I don't want to suffer. I, I want a chance at what time I have, but I don't. I don't want. You know, I, I just don't want to call out the troops. You know, and yeah, for, yeah. for me to be clear, we're going to keep doing everything we can mm -hmm. to keep you as comfortable and as well as possible. Mm -hmm. And we're only talking about what we would do when you die. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anything before you die, we're going to try and keep you well. Yeah. Okay, but once yeah. death happens, we're saying we're not going to try and reverse death. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. That. That's what I want. 